This tutorial is one of many video tutorials I have made on mapping for Battlefield 2. I have added all of these video tutorials into a single playlist. You can find the link for this playlist in the video description of this tutorial. Hello and welcome to my video tutorial on how to get started with mapping for Battlefield 2. This tutorial will cover how to install BF2 editor and how to set up the editor for mapping. First of all, you will need to download the installer for Battlefield 2 Editor version 1.3. Um, I've posted the link to the installer um, in the video description. Right, now that that's downloaded, you need to open up the uh, zip, then drag the, or extract the uh, setup. If you're running a Windows Vista or Windows 7 computer, you need to right click on the installer and then click properties and then go to the compatibility tab and then you need to make sure that run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 is selected and that run this program as administrator is selected. If you don't do this then when you run the installer it will error and say that it can only be run on Windows XP. So once you've done that, run the installer. Right, this next step, uh, while not necessary, I do recommend it uh, quite a lot. It basically, it's an updated executable for the editor, which makes it far more stable and makes the editor crash far less. Um, so I've posted the link to that in the video description. And what you need to do is you need to click on this link here, and that will download the updated executable. Once it's downloaded, you need to open the uh, the zipped file, browse to uh, your Battlefield 2 installation. So for me, that will be my D drive, program files, EA games, and then Battlefield 2. So once in there, you'll find your BF2 editor executable. You need to extract the downloaded executable over the existing one and overwrite. Move and replace Windows 7. Once you've done that, you need to find the executable, right click on it, and go properties. This is only if you're using Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Then go to compatibility mode and make sure that again, just as with the installer, run this program in compatibility mode is set to Windows XP Service Pack 3 and that it's set to run the program as an administrator. When you install Battlefield 2 Editor, it doesn't create a shortcut for you. So you can create a shortcut by right clicking on the executable and then going send to desktop if you're on Windows 7 or Vista or right click create shortcut if you're Windows XP. A quick tip um, that makes things a lot easier if you're going to be working with the Battlefield 2 editor quite a lot is to create a shortcut to your Battlefield 2 installation on you, uh, your desktop so that you don't have to browse to this location every time uh, you need to access it which will be quite a lot. Right now that we've got the editor installed and the stability fix um, put in place as well we can now create a mod to map with. To do this you need to run your Battlefield 2 editor and then it will come up showing all the mods that you have installed. 
Um, for many of you, this will only be one or two. Um, there's only a lot for me because I have a lot of mods. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to scroll down to the very bottom and look for where it says create new mod. You need to select that, then press OK. Then you need to come up with a mod name. Uh, the simplest thing to do is just to call it BF2 underscore edit so you know that it's for your for editing. And then click OK. Make sure Battlefield 2 selected, not Special Forces. For many of you, there will be a bar at the bottom here that shows while the editor's loading up. Um, I've got rid of mine because uh, I find it annoying. But um, you'll see a lot of red text in there. Don't worry about that. That's normal. A lot of red text um, comes up while loading, so don't worry about that. Right now that the editor has loaded your mod to map with, you need to go switch to the level editor, and then go to the mod at the top, at the top bar, and then click mod manager. You then need to go to the editor content tab in the window that appears, and the simplest thing to do is just select all these boxes. This just makes sure that all the all of Battlefield's two content is loaded in the editor so that you can access trees and buildings and things like that from Battlefield 2. Uh, once you've done that, selected all the boxes, you need to click apply and then uh, it will take a while to to uh, well, to load all those uh, objects so just leave it, don't start clicking away. And then once it's done, click OK. It'll do the same for a couple of seconds. And once you've done that, you're ready to go for mapping.